Dateline 1904. Ivan Pavlov, a Russian physiologist, shows that dogs can be trained to salivate in response to the stimulus of a tone. This simple demonstration shows how stimulus response bonds can be formed and launches the study of classical conditioning. Pavlov's discovery paves the way for stimulus response psychology and behaviorism. Dateline 1905. French psychologist Alfred Binet develops the first successful intelligence test. Binet's work demonstrates the practical potential of mental testing and helps foster the eventual emergence of applied psychology. Dateline 1908. Margaret Floy Washburn, the first woman to receive a PhD in psychology, publishes The Animal Mind, which serves as an impetus to the subsequent emergence of behaviorism and the rise of animal research in psychology. Dateline 1909. Sigmund Freud's increasing influence receives formal recognition when G. Stanley Hall invites the Austrian psychoanalyst to America to give a series of lectures. Freud's thesis is that personality is largely shaped by unconscious thoughts and desires and by how people cope with their sexual urges. His psychoanalytic theory is highly controversial. Dateline 1913. John B. Watson writes his classic manifesto, which asserts that mental processes are not a suitable subject for scientific study because they cannot be observed. He Dateline 1914-1916 World War I creates a huge demand for mental testing of military recruits. The war and the 1916 publication of Lewis Terman's Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale combine to make psychological testing a routine activity for psychologists. Dateline the 1920s Gestalt Psychology founded by German psychologist Max Wertheimer, emerges as an influential school of thought in America. Focusing mainly on the study of perception, Gestalt psychology is based on the premise that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Dateline, the 1930s. Sigmund Freud's influence continues to build as he publishes new introductory lectures on psychoanalysis in 1933. Dateline, the 1940s. World War II and its aftermath create a massive need for clinical services, stimulating rapid growth in clinical psychology, the branch of psychology concerned with the diagnosis and treatment of psychological disorders.